Hi guys, welcome to my first ever Second Life tutorial. Basically, um, this is primarily for the staff at Elements Photography and Graphic Design Studio, which I co-own in Second Life. But if anyone can find it useful, then that's absolutely fine too. Great. It's going to be in several different parts, um, but basically it will be from the beginning of the processing uh, um, to the end. It will just be because of sort of it can only be 15 minutes long each bit. I'm just going to cut it into bits. Um, I'll try and label each part appropriately so people that specifically want help with different areas can just skip to that part and have a look. The first thing we're going to be tackling is how to get rid of this green screen. And I've made life difficult for myself, as per usual, by wearing this hair that has these little niggledy bits here that I need to somehow get the green out of. And it's going to be a warts and all um, tutorial. I'm going to show you my mistakes as well as the things that go right. Um, because that's just basically how it works. You don't ever go through from start to finish you know, with, with a flawless process there's always going to be things that you're going to redo over and over and over and over again um, so it's good that you can see sort of that other people go through that exactly the same as you do I hope that you won't get bored of my voice prattling on and I'm going to try not to talk through all of it um, but obviously I want to make sure that I'm being clear about what I'm doing and why I'm doing it I also hope that you can see the tools that I'm selecting and the um, the different sort of elements of that tool. The first thing, as I said, we're going to be doing is getting with this green screen. So what we need to do is have Magic Wand tool selected here. I usually have the tolerance for this bit set about 50 with contiguous turned off, anti-alias turned on. Left click in the green area then right click with that same tool selected select inverse now we're in CS5 which means that we have these brilliant refine edge tools available to us if you're not in CS5 then hopefully at some point in the future I'll be able to come back to this and go through different ways that you're going to be able to do it in CS4 or CS3 um, but for now we're just going to be sticking to how things work in CS5 and don't forget, you can get CS5 um, on a trial basis f for free for 30 days, and it's really sort of it's great. It's you know just to play around with it and see how it works. So refine edge. Now we have several options on how we look at this image. We can either have it on transparent, which I usually work for, but for the sake of showing the green up more clearly for you guys, we're going to be working with it on black for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in to the hair area. Now for the refine edge tools what we're going to do is we're going to have smart radius turned on. Then for these options we're having smooth about five but again these are things that you need to play with. Um, just play around with them to see what's right for you because it might not work the same for you as it does for me. I have feather turned off, contrast turned off, shift edge at about minus five, and contaminate colours turned on with amount about 60%. And the output I usually have to new layer with layer marks and then remember settings saves you from doing everything from scratch next time. I'm not going to be doing the entire thing with you I just want to do one side so you can see how it works and then you can go ahead and do different bits yourself so what we're going to do once you're happy with your zoom level is we're going to start painting that green back in I don't know it doesn't make any sense to me either but that's the way it works you don't have to be precise just be as you know artistic as you as you feel like being it's very roughly getting over like this and you'll probably want to go in when you've done the main bits with a 
smaller brush which you set up here brush size there you give it a few moments and you'll be able to see how it works now I know that it looks like there's a huge amount of green still left but if we have a look at it on a transparent background you can see that really it's gone a huge amount we just want to zoom in on these niggledy bits and just paint those in individually it might seem like it's time consuming but in comparison with the ways that we used to have to do it i.e. going in with a sort of a one two pixel size eraser it's you know it's huge huge improvement so yeah that is basically how we use the new refine edge tools in cs5 when it comes to green screens and second life avatars i'll see you in part two